Hello everybody, God bless you all, thank you for watching. I wanted to talk about today about, about failure, failure when uh, praying for people, not seeing healing, not seeing people come to the Lord, not seeing even, even a deliverance. Um, if you're anything like me, you know, I, I used to watch a lot of healing videos on, on YouTube and, and watch lots of other ministers and everything, and it seemed like, you know, what amazing success these people were getting. You, you see so many people getting healed, video after video, minister after minister, but what you don't see is the times when people don't get healed. I've put some up previously before, but I wanted to speak about it again today, just to encourage you guys. Not everybody sees 100%. I don't see 100%. I, I do see most of the people that I pray for get healed, but I don't see 100%. And this is what I wanted to come across. Have I failed? Have you failed? If you pray for someone, if you step out in faith, obedience and love, have you failed? No, you haven't. You've just done your bit. So you don't look at it as a failure. Even you pray for someone, if they don't get healed then and there, how do you know that they're not waking up the next morning and um, you know completely healed? They will still know that it was the Lord that healed them if somebody had stepped out and even cared about them enough to go and pray for them. So I want to show you a few clips, and I will go over each clip. I mean, the, the first one you'll see here is, um, I'm just at a supermarket with my wife and daughter. And I'm looking around and I, and I see this lady in a wheelchair and she's got a, a helper with her and I see her, this arm brace um, on her. And I just see her from behind and I thought, man, should I go and pray for her? And then I'm looking at her and my, my wife and, and daughter, they, they've just walked off. And I thought, and I didn't really feel like praying for anybody. I just, just wanted to get the shopping over and done with and, and then just go home. But I thought, okay, Lord, if she's got a cross around her neck, I'm going to pray for her. So, um, yeah, you'll see, what, you'll see what happens here. And um, I'll come back and explain a few things. So have a look. Hello. Hi. I see the cross around your neck. Are you a believer like me or is it just decoration? No. You're a believer? I'm a Christian minister. I pray for people. I see, I've see. i seen hundreds and hundreds of people healed. Would you allow me to pray for you? Do you have some pain? I see this in your in your wrist as well. you got some pain in your wrist? Yes. So if that's right, you feel some pain right now? Uh, oh, I've had a stroke, so I... Uh, okay. Yeah. So, do you believe Jesus can heal you? Yes. Yeah, you have faith. You know, I've got all the faith in the word. I've seen it hundreds and hundreds of times. So yeah, if you allow me to, me to pray for you, if that's okay, can I can I take your hand? Okay, what's your name? Mandy. Mandy. My name's Terry. So nice to meet you. So whenever I see someone that looks like they're, I mean, going through a difficult time, you know, I I, I step out. I maybe maybe some people think I'm I'm crazy or an idiot or something, but I've seen hundreds hundreds healed. So I'll, I'll, I'll forsake looking like a fool just if I can see someone help. Okay, thank you Lord for my dear sister Mandy. And I've actually seen stroke victims here too. Uh, so you've got you've got some some uh, lack of movement on one side, have you? Uh, thank you Heavenly Father for my dear sister Mandy. And I just command complete restoration through her body. Right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit just touch her now. Every bit of pain go from her. Fill her with your peace and joy. Complete healing right now in Jesus' name. Bring back all that movement that was lost, Lord, for your glory. Bless her in all that she does. Complete peace upon her now. In Jesus' name. Are you Catholic? Yeah. I've got the real Catholic. You believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, so I just got that word just saying you're Catholic. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. I mean, I, I'm not a denomination, I read the Bible and follow Jesus. So we, we look to him. It's right now. Complete peace upon her. Complete healing and restoration right through her body in Jesus' name. You know, I, I'm, I'm praying for, a, for, for restoration in your body, so just, just believe, you know, I see what the Lord does. It's not me that does it, but I just step out and do my bit anyway. But yeah, you're very welcome. God bless you. Nice to meet you. 
So as you can see in that clip, she, she did have a cross around her neck soil parade for her, which yeah, blew, blew me away. Um, and you, you'll see, she didn't feel anything. She didn't receive any healing then. And even though I got a, I'd got a word of knowledge for her that, that you know, the Lord told me she was Catholic, did, did I fail? Absolutely not. You know, it's not me that does the healing. It's not, it's not me that chooses who, who gets healed. The very fact that, you know, I, I, I saw her and said to, said to the Lord, if she's got a cross around her neck, I'm going to pray for her. The fact that she, she ended up did having a cross, I prayed for her. I got that word of knowledge that the Lord was doing something in her life. She may very well wake up the next day and, and be completely healed. She may wake up the next day and be partially healed. Who knows? You know, that's, that's the Lord's job. That's, that's for him to do and for him to decide, not for me. There was no failure in that. And, and so this is what I want to put across. I've got a few more that I want to show you as well. So, so don't think that just because you, you'll go out praying for someone and if you're not seeing results in either healing or deliverance or ministry, you can pray for someone and think, man, you know, they didn't come to the Lord or if you, you got rejected. Remember, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting the Lord. You know, I know there's lots of sometimes, well, sometimes you can feel quite embarrassed and, you know, being rejected. I remember seeing some guy and he's limping coming past me and I said, oh man, you know, what happened? And he, you know, told me that he fell over and I said, man, I pray for people and I see their pain go, you know, can I pray for you? And he just looks at me and goes, get away from me, you idiot. <laughs> and kept walking, you know, I mean, okay. You know, I, I've stepped out and you know, in, in the Lord's eyes, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be faithful and trying to do what we're commanded to in, in our commission. Go and, go and pray for the sick and um, go, and, go and spread the good news. If, if it's rejected, you know, I know even now, sometimes it can be, it can be embarrassing. And, but we're doing this for a one-man audience, you know, for the Lord and to, to try and bring him glory and at the end of the day, try and bring souls to his kingdom. So in this next one, um, I've, I've met Jim, um, who I go out with quite often, and we're sitting in a food court, and we'll, we'll, we'll sit and pray beforehand before we'll go out and minister on the streets. And uh, we've had something to eat, we've finished, and I've asked him, I've had a bit of a sore, sore foot from, from work, and I've asked him to pray. So instead of Jim just like, praying for me, he comes around the table, gets on his hands and knees and grabs my foot. And, you know, we were in the middle of a busy food court, and it must have looked like that... I don't know, he was doing up my shoelace or uh, proposing to me, who knows. But the, then the lady to our left was, was looking and obviously this looked weird. So afterwards I went and, went and asked her and, and, and said, you know what, we're, we're Christian ministers, can, can we pray for you for some reason? She, she said she had um, a very, very sore back. So you'll see, I take her hand and you have a look what happens as soon as I come against a spirit uh, that's causing any of that pain, you have a look what happens. Now, again, in this instance, she only got a partial healing. She, she wanted to fix up that, the, the blood nose that she had. And, um, you know, I, I believe that, 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 that she, would, she would get some more healing, um, whether later on during the day or, or by, by tomorrow. Um, but again, even partial healing, the Lord has done something. Not me, not you, not Jim. The Lord's done something. We've again just stepped out. And a lot of the time you'll see people, they're, they're, they're grateful even that you've cared enough to step out and pray for them. So have a look at this one as well. Yeah? Okay, so you can definitely feel it in your hand. What's your name? Betty. Betty, Terry is my name. This is Jim. Lord, we thank you for our dear sister Betty. Right now we take authority over that pain in her back. We command it go on. We command healing of her back right now in Jesus' name. Any spirit of infirmity, anything causing that pain in her back, I command it gone in Jesus' name. Good. What did you feel? No, I just had a bleed. Okay, <laughs> How, how's, the, how's the pain? Move it around. Be honest. Okay. It's a little bit there, but it's still a little bit there? Yeah. Did it go down a bit? Yeah. It did? It did like <laughs> Oh, it's that's alright. So I think I'll just better settle this. Thank you. Yeah, that's much. fine. Yeah. That's fine. So it's going to be even better and better. Yeah, right. believing that it will be gone right. by the end of the day. Well, if we come against that and command that healing in those sinuses as well, in Jesus' name, you're very welcome. God bless you. So in this next one, I'm in a Christian bookstore. 
And again, I've, I've seen this lady and she's got this uh, brace or a wrap around her wrist. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna pray for her. Um, she's in a Christian bookstore. I don't think she's gonna knock me back for prayer. And um, so as you see, I, I go up to her and pray for her. And even though she, she doesn't receive healing, she's grateful that you know, I'd, I'd even stepped out. Now, sometimes the Lord will give you, give you some reasons through words and knowledge of, of why someone hasn't been healed. I didn't get it at that particular time, but it was later on after she'd left. And I'd had a, um, had a thought come to me that she, she's got some issues with her father that maybe she still needs to resolve. Now, especially for a believer, when you're praying for someone that is a believer, some things like... And I know you've heard this before, I've mentioned it before. Things like, you know, being involved in sexual immorality or a or big one, and you see quite often is unforgiveness. Um, sometimes the Lord will tell me then and there that people need to forgive. I'll take them through, through a prayer and, 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 you know, minister to them about forgiveness. And I've had some videos on that too, where, where you see some people not receive healing. Take them through a prayer, then they get healed. Um, so that was possibly the case, the case with her. But again, you know, we're, we're called to pray for each other. So again, I stepped out and just did my bit. There was no failure. Whether she got healed or not, I, again, I just did my bit. And this is what I'd really like you people out there to understand if you've, you know, you've got a heart and you're nervous about, man, what if I pray for that person and, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed and if they don't get healed, you're still just doing your bit, you know, and there is no failure in that. So have a look at this one as well. What's happened with your with your wrist there? Oh, I had a um, a major fall. Oh. Yeah. And it's still still troubling you. Still got some pain? Uh, no, it's. it's oh, you just got yeah, got that going on. Nasty scar. Oh, but, okay. Um, yeah, it's I a lot better. In got... fact, I've just been to the surgeon, and he's really happy with it. Um, this ten two yeah. tendons broke. Okay, so you, can you move it around still? Yes. All yeah, good? so I've trained it to do the hook, okay. they call that the okay. hook, and the, and the full Okay, because I see, I, I pray for people, I see, I see healing miracles all the time, I see more okay. than 400. Really? Yeah, so you have, do you have any other, any other pain in your body or anything? Shocking pain. Do you? Yeah. Can I pray for you? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, and so you can feel that pain right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay, can I put yeah. a hand on your shoulder? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Fiona. Fiona Terry is my name. Lord, I thank you for my dear sister Fiona. I take authority over that pain in that back. I command complete healing. Any spirit causing this injury, pain, any spirit to infirmity come off it right now in Jesus' name. Complete healing. Holy. Fine, come back in a place right now. Holy Spirit, kill her from head to toe. Peace upon her now. Every bit of pain completely go. Complete peace in Jesus' name. Okay, let's move that around and see if that's any different. You feel at peace? Be complete. You can be completely honest. We're not going to offend me. Yeah. It's not no, me. That, it's not no, me that does no, it. No, it's good. It's just good to be prayed for. Yeah, I pray for Thank anyway. You. I'll make myself look like a like a nut a job out there on the street. Job. I go out there on Friday nights to run them all with another. God, we're not with the guys that hold up all the banners. We just yeah get led by the by the spirit and go and yeah. pray for people. So yeah, thanks for letting me pray for you. No worries. Yeah, God bless have you guys. Good, have yes, a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Now in this next clip, I wanted to show you how when we go out, we can be an encouragement to other people as well. I'm really happy to show you this guy. His name's Mario, an Italian, Italian gentleman. You'll, you'll hear his accent. Now, I've been working in the heart of the city here for 10 years, and he's been here all this time. I, I keep forgetting to ask him how many years he's been doing this. But twice a week, he comes out for hours on end, and he gives out for free these, like, plaques, these... Um, pictures with Bible verses on them. He'll hand out Bible tracts and he'll also minister to people. Now, I even saw him the other week, it was, it was a, quite a hot day out and he was out for hours, just had a hat and sunglasses on. And it, amazing what, he, what he's doing for the Lord, you know? And he, I remember speaking to him one day and he was so excited, he had a guy come up to him that said, oh, do you remember me? You know, three weeks ago you gave me a Bible track. 
I went home and I gave my life to the Lord. Now he was so excited at just hearing that one person receive Jesus from, from a Bible track that he gave out. And, and he said he hardly hears anything like that. So that, that was really rewarding for him to hear. Now I so into um, Mario's ministry because um, I see the, the, the passion, the, the, the obedience, the love and faith he has for the Lord it is just amazing. And I want to be a part of that and help him as well. Now Mario and his wife, they're just on a pension, an old age pension, yet he uses his own money and gives out these these pictures for free and been doing it for years and years. So it was such such a pleasure to be able to, to encourage Mario and then, and then go out and pray for him as well. So as, as we, we step out, you know, again, it's important to bring others to the Lord, but also encourage others. So anyway, I'll let you let you have a look at what Mario is doing, and um, yeah, just keep him in your, in your prayers. He's an awesome man of God. But listen, we joy, we joy to share the gospel the, for the believer. That because some believers are oh, rubbish. Don't work. But when you when you find out you're right. The, the, the gospel is foolishness to those that are perishing. That's it. That's it. That's and Mario, we want to pray for you. Let us pray for you. Yeah, see, I pray, I pray every day. Yeah. Every day. It says we also pray for one another. Uh, yeah, we right? share that. It says we pray for one another. And we pray a blessing upon remember, you. I pray, I've been praying for you already yeah. a few times. Yeah. Because you're giving. Yeah, for your, mini for your ministry. For you. I see what you're doing. Yeah. So, thank Lord, you. we just thank you for our brother Mario. Lord, we just ask you continued strength upon him, encouragement upon him. Yes. Fill him to overflowing with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Speak through him, act through him. Just guide him in all your ways, Lord. Complete blessing. Bless him with health and love and joy and peace. And continue to strengthen him with what he does in his ministry, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remember Apostle Paul, without the Lord Jesus Christ, you can do nothing. Absolutely. Now in this next clip, this is one of my favourite ones uh, of this whole series I've put on this video. I, I came across this, this couple that seemed to be doing it, doing it tough. They'd just come from interstate, didn't have anywhere to stay as yet. They were waiting, um, waiting till the morning till they could get to their bank. And I was able to speak to them about the Lord and pray for them. And, you know, it, it's amazing. I saw this lady just on camera and, and just thought, I need to go down and pray for her. And after being led to someone by the Holy Spirit and then just hearing um, part of their testimony and, and how the Lord had been speaking to them over the past couple of weeks, it, it was just amazing. It was so, so rewarding. You know, there, there was a healing there. Um, there, there was some deliverance, they both felt the Holy Spirit, they had peace upon them, they were so grateful and it was such a pleasure to be able to help them in, 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 the, in the Lord's name. And this is what really, really makes, makes what I do worthwhile. When I, I, I just love seeing Jesus changing people's lives, it's, it's fantastic. So have a look at this one and um, I'll come back at the end. You know, you're doing all right? All right, yeah. all right. And you guys have definitely eaten something? You, yes, you guys? Yeah. All right. Thank you no so problem, much. you're welcome. We got some sandwiches from uh, one of the missionaries. Did you? Right. Yeah. 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 So that's good. They gave us a couple what about tonight? Oh, no. Not really. You're not hungry? All right. You sure you don't have some pain? I'm positive. Yeah, all right. Okay. Thank God bless. You very much. You're welcome. God bless. Part of the gift thing that I have when, you know, as a minister and receiving the Holy Spirit, we get the thing called, have you ever heard words of knowledge and all that type of thing, and gifts of healing and that type of thing. So I knew she had some pain and some, some anxiety and everything, but she didn't want to admit it even though I knew. Yeah. And that can be gone in five seconds. Well, well. Do you know, five seconds it can be gone. You know, do you have any pain in your body as well? Oh, I'm all right. You're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. yeah absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I knew you felt some pain, even though you didn't want to tell me. I knew. Do you know? And um, I'll like, pray for you, it's five seconds, five second prayer. Would you yeah. allow me to pray for you? Okay, so you don't even tell me where you feel that pain right now. Don't even tell me. Okay, so um, 
do you, do you also you a little bit little bit got some got some stress or some you a bit stressed out at the moment uh, some anxiety going on yeah a little bit yeah yeah all right so you can feel that Not, pain right now just give me your hand just relax in jesus name i command spirit of trauma off right now spirit of trauma off every bit of anxiety and stress come off her right now in jesus name Command complete healing. Holy Spirit, touch her now from head to toe. Touch her now. Every bit of pain, God, take authority. Any spirit hindering this healing, come off her in Jesus' name. I command peace upon her now. Peace. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Okay, every bit of pain, go right now. Pain, go. Any anxiety and depression, come off her right now in Jesus' name right now complete peace and healing restoration right through her body right now complete restoration in Jesus name okay just move around where you had that pain before and see if that's any better you're not now if it's not you're not gonna you're not gonna offend me or make me feel bad it's not me that does the healing how's that feeling okay so it's it's so I didn't even know you had pain in your feet so that's better have you got anything left at all try and find it nothing left so all your pain's gone praise god i'll give you i'll give you a card no it's jesus it's jesus so here's a card jesus just healed you okay Thank you very much. So that's for you that's you all right so now you share that yeah so that's all right put it in my wallet because i keep yeah now you give me a five second prayer yeah five seconds all right put my hand on your shoulder so you guys, whatever whatever you've got going on in your life, Jesus is the answer, but you need to sort of submit to him and allow him to work in your life. Yeah. I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle. It's yeah. been amazing. So, so just relax. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I take authority over every spirit hindering this man right now. If you come out of his mind, all stress and depression come off of him. Holy Spirit, fill him from head to toe right now with your peace and love. Direct him with his walk. Give him a fire and a hunger for you to seek you out. Command peace upon him now. Any wicked spirit hindering him in his thoughts and his walk with the Lord come off him now in Jesus' name. All stress, anxiety and depression off him right now. Off him right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, flood him with your peace and joy. And give him direction in his life. Heal him from head to toe. In Jesus' name feeling from that oh man you feel yeah. all right yeah yeah so that's right so a lot, lot of people you know when i pray from that just f they feel the peace yeah upon them yeah. that the lord lord it's good gives. to know you, you know, know that, like, he's there he is yeah. absolutely there but you've got to allow him to work in your life as well sort of seek seek him out because it says when we seek we find when we knock the door will be opened when we ask we receive but that's us he's there with open arms like this yeah we need to yeah. Make that move. I'm here. I'm, I always have been here. What did you say last That's week? We well, you say, well, we need to go back to church. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So We've never actually been no. together, but yep. I have in the past. I'm yep. on the Sunshine Coast. So this is yeah. what it is. The Lord leads me to people. I don't go talking around to everybody, but I've been led to speak to you guys because it's already been placed in your heart. Yeah. The Lord's already been working on your heart. We need to go back to church. We need to start seeking the Lord. There is no other way. There is no other way. Yeah, we're going to uh -huh. move, um, we're um, hoping like when we get paid, we're yeah. going to um, move back to Wyla. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, it's such a beautiful yeah, place. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, there's awesome. a lot of energy going on there. Praise God. I'm just going to let someone in, I'll grab you some sandwiches and I'll be back. All right, you're welcome. There's some stuff for you guys, all right? Some other stuff in there too. All right, no, the, no, the, it's like the Lord, the Lord has sent me to you, okay? Thank so, you, you know, it's like I said, no accident that the Lord's been speaking to your heart already about thinking about going back to church. Yeah. yeah. All right, so this is just to confirm that for you, okay? I don't go up to everybody. Yeah. I'd get in trouble here if I did. Yeah. All right, so God bless you guys, all right? The Lord's, the Lord's for you. you. You make him first in your life, life changing, all right? And he just, he just said to me, he said, it's funny because I said to him, And what you're telling me, I get all the time. Yeah. Friday nights, I go out here with another brother and we get led to people. I get led. I said, you know, I'm, I'm a minister. I speak. 
oh, my mum's been praying for me. My mum's told me I need to go back to church and I've been really thinking about it. I hear stories like this all the time. When I get led to someone, you hear the stories in the background. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yep, yep, that's it. So, so this is a sign for you guys, all right? Yeah, all right. and we get yeah. Twyla, we'll be thinking of you, Barry. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all him. I'm just a servant. I do, I do what I hear. And that's what, you know, I say... Yeah, and that's the Lord is in me, and so the Lord speaks through me, acts through me, and you see, performs, you know, different signs and wonders that says signs and wonders will follow those that believe. So even though you were telling me you didn't have pain, I still knew that you did. You know? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry, No, that's all right. So people, you know, it's it's a bit way out there for people, and you think you know, people think I'm nuts. You know? Yeah, especially in Australia. Yeah, I must admit I did feel a some type of anything. Yeah, it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Spirit. So my feet are burning up now, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Holy Spirit. And some people when I'm commanding those spirits off of people they'll feel light. Like something's lifted off them. You know, like a burden as well, they'll feel that as well. So that was the Holy Spirit you felt. I'm not sure if you'd actually felt anything as well as I was praying for you. Yeah. That peace that you felt, I walk around in that every day. Awesome. Well, God bless you guys. Thanks, All right. You're very welcome. You're it's very welcome. You're very welcome. So well, that's it. So yeah, have a great night. Thank God bless, you. guys. See ya. Oh, that's all right, man. Yeah. Um, the toilets here get get shut. Um, you got there's public toilets down James Place oh, that yeah. stay open. Yeah. yeah. Does construction mean anything to you? Construction, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've laboured before. Yeah, yeah. So in the construction. So are you going to get a job in construction? Oh, I could do. Yeah. I've done a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought about construction? Or did yeah. I just get that out? Yeah. So that oh, yeah, I've done it before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, actually, I'll tell you what you might be thinking of. Because um, I don't really want to be doing English teaching anymore. Yeah. I want to stay out of the way. I just yeah. want to get my head down and yeah. do things. So I think I would be doing a lot of labour and work. Yeah, something yeah. in con like construction. I've construction. I've worked with litter pickers, like everything. So you know, yeah, I just heard construction. Yeah. So I'm if that's something that you're headed for, but also, and guys, don't don't take this the wrong way, but Lord also told me to give you that. Oh, mate. Right, we'll, you, we'll you haven't got any money. We'll, yeah, we ain't got a cent. Yeah. 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 Right. It's not, it's not to get it back. I oh, know. Yeah. It's for the, the Lord, I'm obedient. Yeah, well, so we'll, we'll fix it back up. No, it's period. not what it's yeah. about. I don't expect it back. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is it, everything I have is from the Lord. Okay, so that's that. Very and when I was up there and heard when I when I was up there and I heard construction, and then I've I've felt to give you money. So I've said, Lord, if He confirms <laughs> that what I'm hearing is construction, the money's His. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. So well, that's how you're, we. You're, you're talking about um, council work. Council, yeah, no, labour and I just council. heard construction. Yeah. That's all. Terry, we're gonna right. set you up for that. No, no, you're not. It's not yeah. what it's not what I gave it to you for. Oh, we know. Alright? Yeah. God bless you guys. Thank okay? You. You're welcome. Thank God bless you. you. God bless you. Okay? You're Remember angel, guys, mate. no, it's no I'm just I'm just a, I'm just a servant of the Lord. So yeah. the, maybe he sent me to you, so that's a sign for you guys. Seek we the don't Lord. Have a cent, not even yeah. So when I'm telling you I'm hearing from the Lord. Yeah. He's sent me to you guys, all right? So he wants a relationship with you guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's him. Yeah. And it's only yeah, it's, it's only the Lord you can see in me. That's all. All right. Well, the first person we'll be talking about when we get to yeah. church in the right. So, life. so the Lord's yeah. the Lord's called you guys back, all right? All right. Thank calling you back. Again, You're welcome, You're guys. Amazing. God bless. Thank you. Thank you again. God bless. God bless. Thank God bless. Okay. And take care. It's him. Yeah. So it's him. You, there's no need to thank me because it's him. Everything I have is from him. So he's given that to you, all right? Not me, all right? Yeah. It's him. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. See you, mate. So guys, as you see, that was a real mixed bag of um, instances that I'd, that I'd come across over the past past week and a half. And it was just to show you that, you know, when, when you step out, it's almost like, you know, expect the, un the unexpected. All sorts of things can happen. You just make yourself available and, and like, the whole theme of this video is that when you step out, there's no failure. It's failure if you don't step out. You just do your part and let the Lord do the rest. Um, he's faithful and, and you know, I'll, I'll go through at times, I'll pray for four people and, and, and four of them won't get healed, you know, over a space of a couple of days and it, and it does get discouraging. I understand that. 
compared to when you when you see someone getting healed and you think, oh man, the Lord's with me, this is amazing, thank you Lord, and you, you walk off on a high. But you really again have to understand that you're stepping out and you want to hear that, that well done, good and faithful servant. You know, Pastor TC from New Day Christians and I spoke to him over the phone the other day and, and he's a dear brother and you know he, he explained it to me like this, you know, with our walk with the Lord. You know, we've got one eye on the Lord, we've got both hands on the plough and one eye on the field, that harvest as well. And, you know, being about the Lord's business and we know the Lord's going to come back and as blessed is that servant that's about, about his master's business when he returns. And, you know, to have that commission and commandment, there's no way, absolutely no way I'm going to stand before the Lord and have him say to me, you know, what did you do with the gifts that I gave you? What did you do with the time that you had? What did you do? Did you squander it or did you use it? Did you bring my father glory? Did you, did you try and bring souls to me? There's no way I'm gonna hear that. And, and neither should you guys. So again, um, do what you can. Step out whether you see people come to the Lord or not. You know, the Lord can bring other people into their lives and different situations into their lives as well. And that's the Lord that brings them, the Lord that brings the increase. Just some sow and some reap, but we all share in the harvest. God bless you guys. I hope this has encouraged you. Again, no failure, no failure. Just step out in obedience, faith and love. Just do your part. God bless you guys. I love you all. Thank you. Definitely feel that pain now. Oh yeah. You can? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So that's why I ask people to see how their faith is if they believe in the Lord. So if I just put a hand on your shoulder, I'm just gonna command that pain to go and we'll see how you feel. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, what's, your, what's your name? Greg. Greg, there is my name. Good. Thank you, Lord, for Greg. I just command all that pain in his body to go. Any spirit that's causing this pain or hindering this healing, I command off him right now in Jesus' name. Any stress and oppression on him, off him, lift him right now. Any addictions, off him right now in Jesus' name. I command that peace upon him. Every bit of pain go in Jesus' name. Right through his body, Holy Spirit, fill him from head to toe. Your healing power right now in Jesus' name. Okay, so just move it around and see if there's any difference. You're not going to offend me if, it, if you've still got the pain. But just tell me if it's any different. I think it might be, you know. Yep, so keep moving it even more, more. You had some pain, was it only in your foot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how's it going right now? Try and find it? You wouldn't read about it. Oh, I do read about it because it's in the Bible. How are you feeling? I can't believe You can't find it? No. Praise God. Walk up even yeah. and it's I'll, just, I'll just give you a card to tell you what happened because Jesus just healed you. No so you've, you've just experienced a miracle, my friend. Thank you very much, mate. You're very welcome. God bless you. I don't very often talk to people like thank no, you thank you're you. welcome appreciate it